Hey, what's up, guys? It's SS Motor Warfare here, Gamer Tab Banjo Chicken, and welcome to Hardware Tutorials Episode 4. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to flash a BenQ DVD drive um, because it's the easiest DVD drive to flash. So, if you have a BenQ DVD drive, then you're lucky because um, it's much easier to flash than any of the other DVD drives that are out there. So a BenQ DVD drive is one of the fat console DVD drives. So this is a BenQ, Philips BenQ drive. You can tell that your drive is a Philips BenQ if you bring it up. Uh, you can see it says Philips BenQ right there. Digital Storage Corporation. So basically the advantages of flashing your DVD drive are just huge. Um, um, people do use it for piracy um, to get copied games, but um, you know, just to kind of cover myself, I should say that it's for backup. You know, backups of your original games. Totally, that's that's what everyone's going to use it for. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So basically, in order to flash it, you're going to need a CK3i. Um, I got this a couple of years back, so there's a few newer versions of this out now. Um, so it may look slightly different than this, but you want CK3i. You should have Molex on one end, DVD drive power on the other, and a USB port to connect up to your computer for the driver software. It's basically a power adapter type deal for your drive. And there's also a X360 USB Pro. This is not necessary depending on your computer. If your computer is a desktop and it has enough SATA ports on it, or it has the correct SATA port should I say, I think you need a certain chipset, like in some certain Intel chipset um, to flash with. So you'll have to, what I recommend you do anyway is try every SATA port in your computer um, and if none of them work then you'll have to buy yourself a X360 USB Pro which is just SATA to USB uh, adapter basically. So, let's get started and another benefit of um, flashing your DVD drive is that when you go to play modded games like modded ISO discs um, you don't need to hot swap or do any of that stuff that we did in episode 3 that episode 3 is if you don't have a flash drive, if you do have a flash drive you can just put the modded game straight in your console and play it without needing to hot swap as well so that's another good advantage of uh, flashing your drive so um, let's get in and uh, get these set up with the DVD drive. Okay, so once you get your desktop PC open um, you want to look for a spare Molex connector um, I understand you may not be able to see that very well because this one's black but that is the Molex connector right there and that is what we're going to hook up our CK3 Pro to Molex so we'll go ahead and hook that up just now so as you can see it's turned on there we've got a little red light if it's green then it means it's switched on like that so there's a little switch just here you want to make sure that's off right now and then you're going to want to hook up the um, USB cable to the CK3 Pro as well or sure, CK3i Like that. Okay. So now what you're going to do is either hook up your DVD drive to a SATA port on your computer or plug in uh, your USB Pro if you have a USB Pro. So um, I'll be using the USB Pro for this. So hook up. The USB Pro with the USB cable. It should turn on, you should get two lights, green there, green there. Okay, so now we want to get your DVD drive. Now you want to hook up your um, DVD drive power cable. Now as you can see this is a really long one. This is actually the uh, CK3 Probe 3 DVD drive power cable that comes with that. Um, 
if you have not got the Probe 3 then just use the um, there should be a, a DVD drive power cable that comes with the CK3i um, here or you could um, try using your uh, power cable that you that is connected to the Xbox that powers the DVD drive when it's in the Xbox you could use that one as well so what we're going to do is hook this up here you want to hook the other end into the other end of the CK3 Pro CK3i and now the USB Pro SATA cable connect to the DVD drive like that and the other end goes in to either a SATA port in your computer or the USB Pro and when you hook it up to the USB Pro oh no it's still no new lights so that's fine so that's us got that all hooked up now as you can see there got our USB Pro our CK3 Pro and now what you want to just do is turn on your CK3 I and um, now you're ready to go onto the computer and get this DVD key extracted from the drive. Okay guys, once you're over onto the computer, you want to uh, first of all download Jungle Flasher, downloads right here, and um, I'll link all the links that you need will be in the description, so just check the description for the downloads to all of these things. So Jungle Flasher, click here, download this latest version. Um, I'll just extract it to the desktop. Uh, we've got all this. Be nothing in firmware right now. Okay, so once you have Jungle Flasher downloaded, um, you're going to want to make sure you've got your drivers for your CK3i, which I'll put the link in the description for you. Download those and the USB Pro drivers. Um, quickly to show you how you install the drivers basically extract the driver software so this is all the drivers here and then you would go on to your computer manage head over to the device manager then you would find your missing driver uh, which would be at the time something like X360 USB Pro. You'd right click, it should be like a little exclamation mark or a question mark on the icon, and you right click update driver software, browse my computer for driver software, and browse for the folder uh, where you extracted the driver software to, which was the desktop, and then USB Pro 2 drivers. You would click OK, and then next, blah blah blah, install the drivers, and you do the same thing with the CK3i drivers. So once you have the driver software installed for the CK3i and the USB Pro, if you have the USB Pro, um, we now need to download the firmware. So uh, here is a download here, latest iExtreme firmware and stock firmware. It's a good thing to have the stock firmware as well. Um, so go ahead and download this. So once you have it downloaded, extract all the firmware somewhere. Um, I've just extracted it into a folder on my desktop called firmware. All my firmware is in here and the stock firmware here as well. So I've got the stock firmware for the BenQ. It's not needed because we're flashing it but if you ever wanted to flash back to stock for a system update or something then it's a good thing to have the stock firmware downloaded for your drive. Okay guys so once we have everything installed we can run Jungle Flasher so just run Jungle Flasher. I'm not sure if you have to run it as administrator or not, but uh, I have user account control settings uh, turned off. So uh, if you don't have UAC turned off, then maybe run it as administrator just in case. So we're going to head over to DVD key 32. And as you can see, it's ticked on USB only because I'm using the USB Pro. If you're using a direct SATA connection to your computer, then that will not be ticked and you'll have to search through all your uh, IO ports and find the one uh, that your drive is plugged into and when you find the correct one it will show up here um, 
your drive should show up down here. So as you can see it's found mine straight away and if I just click here to refresh drive properties it should say drive is Ben Q so it's detected no probs. Uh, we've got COM port here we can put it on one or three. Um, I probably recommend three because that's a CK3i so I'm going to just set it to COM port three. Uh, but COM port one usually works as well so yeah anyway. so. Now what we want to do is we've got all this set up correctly, we can just head over to um, MTK Flash and then you want to click Ben Q Unlock and then it just says sending magic keys to drive on port 0x0000 and that all went done perfectly, no problem. Now you want to click the read button and before I do that I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop called uh, DVD key, or I actually call it BenQ DVD key. So I'm going to click read and it's going to read the firmware from the drive now that it's unlocked. And it's going to ask me where do you want to save um, the extracted uh, firmware and we're going to say we're going to want it. Uh, in desktop B B B B B Ben Q so I'm gonna save it in here and we don't want to auto load light on plus so now that we've done that if you go inside your Ben Q you'll have a um, you have your extracted DVD key in there so it auto loads the DVD key and the firmware into the source which is correct it shows it's stock firmware rev 04421C that's important to the rev and the model all of this is important because now we're going to open our target firmware and the target firmware is the LT plus that we downloaded so I have to locate that 0442 so I'm going to look for 0442 so there it is 0442V3 going to open that up. Now you, what you want to do is check to make sure they're the same so vendor BenQ, vendor BenQ, the models is the same, make sure that's all the same, rev is the same, firmware type should be different, that should be LT plus 3.0, that should be stock and the OSIG should be the same VAD6038. Uh, that's all good, 442. Okay, so now what you want to do is click spoof source to target which will copy the DVD key from the source firmware onto the target firmware. Now that we have done that, we're now ready to flash, so we'll just head back over to MTK Flash. And all we have to do now is click the right button. And it'll start writing our firmware to the drive, the LT Plus. And it'll do the verification. And once it's done, it should say write verified OK. Now what you want to do, as you can see, it says the drive is in vendor mode. You want to click the outro slash ATA reset button. And it should say drive is Ben Q. It's no longer in vendor mode, as you can see. It's showing up now. So that means we have successfully uh, flashed our Ben Q DVD drive, guys. So that's how you do it. Um, you can also save the log. Uh, I'm not going to bother saving the log. So that is how you flash a BenQ DVD drive. Um, I took a little while there explaining about the drivers and stuff. I will not be doing that in my next two tutorials. I only did it in this tutorial because it was the first of the three flashing tutorials and um, the other DVD drives that we're going to flash. Um, it takes longer to flash. There are extra steps involved therefore um, it's going to take longer so that's why I d decided to show you guys uh, where to get the drivers and all that stuff in this tutorial. In the other tutorials the download links for the drivers for the CK3i and X360 USB Pro will be in there as well but I won't show you in the video downloading the drivers for the CK3i and stuff that was uh, just for this tutorial. So thanks guys for watching um, I hope you enjoy your flash drives now and yeah BenQ simplest to um, flash 
and the quickest to flash. So that's how you flash a BenQ drive. If you like the tutorial then please give it a like and if you find it useful leave a like as well and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because I've got lots of hardware tutorials and JTAG tutorials and tutorials of all kind of, all sorts and modded lobbies, vids and all that kind of stuff on my channel so please uh, subscribe if you would like to and comment if you have any questions of course and I'll hopefully see you guys in my next video. Yeah. Yeah.